what's good YouTube I am back with another reaction video and we got a Nick Smith video we got the funniest Larry Bird trash talk story the full story all right so this is one of his trash talk stories all right let's get straight into the video appreciate all the love and support man we're gonna keep grinding these videos we're gonna keep going up and excuse if you hear noise in the background but uh yeah let's get straight into the video Appreciate y'all so much, man. Let's run it up. Let's keep running. Let's keep grinding. Let's keep going. Let's get straight into the video. Let's get it. I don't know. Tim Thomas and School Beast podcast by Larry Bird talking shit till you said. Man, uh, I'm going to keep this real with y'all, man. My ass got busted real early, man. I came into the league, man. I was in the <laughs> team. Um, you know, you know how some of them vets, man, they play you to the team, man. I got played down in Boston one night. We was playing uh Boston Celtics. So the great Larry Bird. I didn't really know much about it. you know, I'm from Indiana, Larry's from Indiana. I knew about the history of Larry, but I didn't realize how he really got down. Larry Bird gave me what did he give me? 45 and three quarters. The first game? First first time I played against him. What year was this for you? This was my first year. Oh, okay. And welcome once again, everyone, to a sold-out Boston Garden, where tonight the Celtics look to snap a two-game losing streak. And they'll be facing a hot basketball team, the Seattle Supersonics, making their only appearance here in Boston. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Gorman, along with Tom Heinz, and welcome to our coverage. And Larry, me and Larry are from the same place in Indiana. Game. And um, I, um, I had a great privilege of... Uh, of not knowing Larry, but I played against his brother, his brother Eddie, coming up through the ranks a little bit. Meet Eddie Bird, who's walking down the same street his big brother Larry did at Indiana State. Well, almost. As it turns out, Eddie may not have to find out the hard way at all. Like Larry, he may just go with his strength. You know, right now, I would, I would say, you know, I wouldn't be a pro basketball player. Um, I think next year I might try out for the baseball team here at Indiana State, and um, hopefully I can, you know, I'd, I'd rather go in that career than I would basketball. So um, I was the I was the young guy that kind of came up through the history in Indiana and kind of broke a lot of Larry Bird's records. <laughs> so Larry kind of had already known about me a little bit. First of all, we got to Boston that night. I knew someone, right? I saw an X man he was limping around the court a little bit like he was sore. I figured he'd be all right, you know. Xavier McDaniel. Xavier McDaniel. The X man came up with a sore knee that game. Injury. <laughs> <laughs> he had some knee pain. I was like, it's a hell of a time for you to come up with a knee pain. <laughs> <laughs> right before the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Larry, he I ain't going tonight. You got to yeah, come on. See that? Yeah, then I, I, I look at the boy, I try to kept Larry Bird. And I'm like, so you know, I look in the mirror. I'm like, well, shit, man, I'm about to get this motherfucker fits out here tonight. So I was before the game. I was over there rubbing my hands, looking at him like, I'm about to get your ass, man. And um, that morning they came out with a USA USA Today article, and they said that Larry didn't have it no more. Ooh. But unfortunately, my rookie season, it was, an article, it was an article that came out in the paper in USA Today, and it said that Larry didn't have it anymore. We were the <laughs> next game that the Celtics played in the Boston Garden. And of course, I took the challenge on. Huh? It's only Larry Bird. He, he puts his shorts on the same way I do, right? I'm from Indiana. Larry's from Indiana. I broke a lot of his records in, uh, in high school. Did you really? And uh, he, he, he let me know about it the whole entire game. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, first of all, he asked me to jump ball. He said, you the cat that broke all my records in high school, right? And I was like, yeah, that's me. He goes, yeah, you the one that used to jump with my brother too, right? Now, Eddie. And I was like, yeah, that's me. He said, I got you for you tonight. <laughs> he let me know from the start of the game what he was going to do. He really did. He uh, he let me know. He, he, he told me, he was like, you're the one that broke all my records. I said, yes. He said, so he basically said, I have something to show you tonight. Oh my! <laughs> oh, <laughs> he, was, he was he was hitting everything, man, and he talked to me the whole entire game. Bird will take the first shot. He, he just shook his head at me. He said, "Man, 
This is going to be a fucked up night for you. <laughs> <laughs> so when so he, he came out that night to make a statement, and I was just the prime candidate. For Boston's offense, if they play half court. Bird again, he's two for two. Well, all right. That's a good sign. Bird really pushed McKee out of the spot. No call. Larry on a wing. Got Kevin, a quick double. Finds Dennis Johnson in and out. Bird is there. During the game, Sean Kemp was guarding Larry. Bird on the 20 year old Kemp. I mean, Larry's just like, fucking shit. Bernie calls a timeout. Seattle will take a 20 second timeout. Bernie calls a timeout. I'm like, hey, what the fuck that motherfucker says, man? Sean Kemp was guarding Larry. He was like, oh, he said, I'm the, the best, best motherfucker from Indiana and yeah, shot a three in the my ball. Takes a fall away. Oh, he's got 40. That's true. It is very true. But... <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Bird, open. Hit on the baseline. Larry got free. Knocked down, sneaking up the floor. Squares up. Well, he's got the stroke back today. Everybody like, Larry Bird lit you up, my mama. She's like, everybody say he came by the house and called and told my Larry Bird lit your ass up for 42. I said, what? I said, that much. That was the year we got Derrick McKee and Derrick was on it. If you can play defense, you're going to be in the game at some point. Uh, back then, with the Sonics, I think we, I played on, I, I know I played on like one of the more versatile teams that I played on because we could switch everything. Yeah, when when Cage was playing in center, we had Sean at the four. I think for me, playing defense is like somebody who's more offensive minded. They get a thrill out of scoring. Uh, so for me, I get a thrill out of stopping somebody. He was actually calling out bank shots. He would say, uh, next time, uh, bank shot left side. Larry, little runner. Goes off the glass. Oh, boy. So every shot he was calling, at the defensive end, he would tell me, he'd be like, when I get down to the other end, I'm going to pump face you. Your dumb ass going to go for it. Get a hand uh -huh. one on you. Look at you. <laughs> go off the glass. That's how cold Larry yeah. Bird was. He would tell you that, and it happened. Bird flashing through. Tough shot. Knocks it down. 25. Right. Bird for three, and he got it outside. Tail there, long outlet to Bird. McMillan won't catch it. And runs, saying, uh, prove it to me, Dennis, you can hit the outside shot. The Celtics have forced more turnovers tonight than in any other game this year, as Bird is now at 34 and counting. I said, first of all, I'm gonna be so close to you. If you if you shoot the ball next, I'm gonna try to rip your fucking arm off your side. <laughs> hey, what you think he did, man? A quick pump fake, dog. And you go for that shit here. Ah! Bird again for two. Well, it's just not really gonna be. One. Well, he really talked like that. Got you, man. Come on, man. Come on, Larry was. How cold was? I don't think. When I, I, I guarded his ass so tough. Forty point I guarded his ass so tough. I'm gonna foul him so hard that he's gonna, he's basically gonna take his will. He started shooting the ball with his left hand, man. I, I was trying to foul, foul his right arm. He was shooting with his left hand, banking it off on me, looking at me, still slapping me on my butt and everything. Man, tell me everything. <laughs> <laughs> now see, that's something that he didn't hit you. He like, he didn't hit you on the butt. Now nah, nah, I got to fight you. <laughs> I guarded his ass so tough. That after the game, he said, that's the best defense I've seen so far, the best effort. He actually invited me to his house that summer after the game, man. He gave me like 45 or 48 in those three quarters. After the game, he actually reached ret out to me and told me I could come down and work out with him in the summertime. Wow. He, he sent a little letter over there to me. He was, like, he was like, I've had nobody play defense that hard on me. Mm -hmm. I love it. He go, I appreciate you playing. Out. He was like, I got a little all-star game. Why don't you come work out with me? Come to the all-star game, man. Yeah. You yeah, still compete. You still compete. That was the best effort I've seen in a long time. 
uh, you know, you come to the house yeah. and shoot around with me, then someone might show you how to shoot the ball, young fella. So after meeting Larry and then him saying, yo, I think you got some talent, I'd like to work with you a little bit. Of course, man, that, that meant everything to me. So absolutely, man, he's, uh, he was, uh, I learned a lot from Larry. Hey, shit, that meant everything to me. Yeah, that's so good. So you guys became a friends after absolutely, that, to this man. day? Absolutely, So it went from him whooping my ass right. to him teaching me a few things. I mean, you pick your battles, man. You know, I learned my, I, my, my you just said Larry Bird. It's like, I learned my very first lesson to Larry Bird. Bird had what a game like you, like you had had two years ago. Played just a fantastic game shooting wise, came out early, started hitting the shots. Played a lot of minutes. Well, let's pay some tribute here to Larry Bird. He is our Anheuser-Busch player of the game. And uh, Larry with the triple-double tonight and was doing it from just about every angle. Well, in addition to that, he was playing some great defense, going out and challenging people and uh, making all the great plays. Uh, ends up on the front end of the break, ended up in the middle of the fast break as a middleman. Did an outstanding job, as always, on the defensive boards. Uh, passed the 40, 11, and 10. That's <laughs> I'll be trying to tell people, man. Larry Legend, man. Larry Legend. Ball, but his shooting was there tonight, and that's what this team really needs. And Larry Bird to hit those shots at key points in the ball game, which he did. Alright y'all, this wraps up this good old video. It's Larry Bird Trash Talk Story. We always find us some good trash talk stories. Appreciate y'all so much, man. Appreciate y'all. Let me know what you think of this video. Down in the comments down below. If you got some videos you want me to do, leave them down in the comments or you can send them to my email at definitelyboy9 at gmail.com. And y'all know these videos is rolling. I'm going to keep them coming. We're going to keep them going. But uh, yeah, man, like I say, man, it's the GOAT. People just, it just, I'm just like, yo, give him his credit, man. This is why I love doing these videos. And it's crazy because I remember seeing some of these clips, but this is even more detail of Sean Kemp. Like, I remember seeing some of these clips before from under the from my other videos and I was just like damn this is even more decent that's why I love doing these videos man I just keep finding these videos at the videos man but I love doing it but subscribe if you're new hit that like button turn on that bell I'm out of here I'm on to the next video we're gonna keep this train rolling y'all I appreciate y'all so much man I appreciate y'all but I'm out of here I'm on to the next video love y'all so much peace